Hi guys, so this is my nighttime skincare routine that I want to show you guys and some of my lovely subscribers have been requesting for it. I'm sorry if the camera is really shaky, I'm actually like holding this in my hand because I don't have a proper profesh camera equipment but you know, sue me, I'm broke. I'm a broke uni kid, okay? So just bear with me. Um, yeah, so as I said before, I do get acne, I have very oily skin. It's technically a combination, but it's, as I grow and older, like it seems to be that my face has become more and more oily. Um, it's oily in the T-zone here and here, and but it's very dry on my cheeks here. Not extremely dry, but just, you know, dry. Whereas this kind of area here, is, it's becoming oilier and oilier, and my pores are just like horrendous. But as you can probably tell, my acne doesn't seem that bad. It's because actually my acne was really, really bad last year because I just stopped caring about my face and everything in general. Like I just went through like this phase of not caring about anything and I just literally didn't care about like anything in my life and that included my face and shit like that. So mainly what I have is just like acne spots. And you can probably tell here, here, here. And mostly my acne comes from eating bad food or sometimes when I'm stressed or it's hormonal. But I don't get like really bad acne or anything like that. But yeah. So, I don't know where I should put this. Should I put this here? I think it should be. Oh my god. I think it should be okay. Maybe I should kneel. Yeah. Okay, I think it seems to be alright. Okay. So first thing up, the first product I use is the same that I use in the morning and it's the AHA slash BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner by Cos RX. This is the toner that is my holy grail. Um, yeah, anyways, this is my holy grail and I've been using it for like two plus years. So I'm going to start off with that first and just getting cotton pad I got these from Kmart so just one and then I spray it three times and then just all over probably my technique is wrong but you know I'm not sure if this would be good for, uh, for sensitive skin because it does have um, BHA and HA, uh, AHA which is an exfoliant but I'm pretty sure it's gentle enough to be used so yeah. Also, I don't really have sensitive skin. I should have said that to start, but yeah. I don't really have sensitive skin. I just have certain products will break me out, but I don't have sensitive skin or like redness or anything like that. Okay. Second up, I follow if if my acne is really bad, I'll get oh, wrong one. Wrong bottle. I will use the natural BHA skin retaining A Soul by Cosrx. And this is like a, not an emulsion, what is it called? Like a serum. And I'll only use this at night because it's, actually it's lightweight, but I just like using this at night. If I don't use this, I'll either use a mask. So I'll either use the, this Shills Natural Science Deep Cleansing Black Mask Purifying Peel Off Mask. You can get this on, off eBay, Amazon, what, Wish, whatever app, like they will sell this. I had to get a new one. It usually lasts, mine, this bottle lasts me a year and I use it about two to three times a week. So this is really great for blackheads because I suffer from lots of blackheads and whiteheads on my, chi on my um, chin. If I don't use that, the masks I will use is if I get them out. These aren't these are probably my holy I holy grail mask, but I really love the Innisfree, they changed the name, my real squeeze mask. Any one of them will do. I just like, really like using this brand. I, know, I just like the actual mask sheet. It's really it's thinner than the Etude House ones, which are these ones. It's the um I don't know what they're called, but like You'll see them like you can write. It's just the normal, the normal branded Etude House mask. Like I think this is their only. It's the the biggest range, I suppose. Like their main range. This one's their mask sheets is a bit thicker, while these ones are a bit thinner. 
So I personally prefer the Innisfree ones to the Etude House ones, but the Etude House ones are cheaper. So that's the only thing. Um, so yeah, I like using pretty much any of these masks if I'm not gonna, like if I'm not, if I wanna like indulge I suppose. However, if I'm not using that, I will use another one if I can find it. And it is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This is the white one. It's more stronger than the normal one, which I think is maybe... It's either black, green, purple or something. I don't know. I can't remember. But this is the one. Essentially, it's purifying, so it's more for acne. Acne is more oily skin, so... Essentially, I use three master types. This is a clay one. I guess this one's... This one's a peel off and then just a normal typical Korean mask sheet. Um, I think that's all oh, like here. And if my skin is really dehydrated, so like after a hot day or if I feel like I need more moisture, I'll also use the Laneige water sleeping mask and this is probably this is a mini version, but this is probably like the most raved about thing ever. The most raved about masks sleeping mask ever and I think and I highly highly recommend this this is for all skin types including oily it is very lightweight so I highly recommend this so I'm just gonna do my acne isn't that bad so I'm so I think I might just use this one usually I'll skip this step but just to demonstrate my acne isn't that bad but you can never be too sure of stress and uni. So just tap it on the skin. Like that. Like so, and just let it sit for a couple of minutes. Um, what else am I going to say? Oh, yeah. And also I'll use, if I remember, the Etchy House My Lash Serum. It doesn't really do much, personally, but I feel like it doesn't make my lashes longer. My lashes are very typical Asian, like, stubborn, straight, short lashes, but I do notice that after using this, that my lashes are a lot more stronger, and it doesn't, like, fall as much, I suppose. So, yeah. Just like that. Um, so, after I feel like it's dried enough, I will use the TM, TM My Little Pore No Soothing Cream. And you've probably seen this in my hauls. Stop focusing on my face. Please. Okay, yeah. You've probably seen this in my hauls, and I really love this. It's pretty, uh, I guess, medium range. It's not the most cheapest but it's not the most expensive either it's pretty affordable i really love this i've been using it for pretty much a year now and i just feel like it's really good and it doesn't break me out because before this i used to use aloe vera but like most of the stuff that had that was like the aloe vera like soothing gels and stuff like that kind of had it had alcohol in it and alcohol dries out my skin so i didn't want that so um so i chose this one instead just for um just to try out because like um because it was like a new product and I really love it like it just does seems to be doing a good job in both summer and winter so I really love it um and it doesn't break me out so that's really great um so pretty much that's the end of my face routine in terms of the um because one of my subscribers asked if I could recommend them some stuff from Sensitive Skin. I don't know. Although I don't think I can recommend stuff. Only from things I've heard been raved about. Because I myself don't have Sensitive Skin. But, um, I don't know. This mask that I use, it seems to work pretty fine. I know with the Glam Glow, there's, um, I think the original one. The, the original, I'm pretty sure there's one that's catered to sensitive skin, I'm pretty sure. Or you can use the original one. Or if you can't, you can use the, um, I think the Origins Clay one. Because I asked the lady, 
at Mecca, which is kind of like the equivalent of like Sephora, but like here in Australia, even though we have a Sephora here. Um, she's, I asked her which one was better and she said that um, the Origins one is a much, it's much more catered to sensitive skin and this one works a lot stronger. So I, I guess I could recommend that. Um, in terms of toners, there's a whole heap of toners that are great for sensitive skin. I'm not sure if this one is. I'm gonna say it can, but if not, I'm gonna write some text below here or something. And for my sheets, there's like, uh, there's tons of my sheets. You can, you can literally, like the Cosrx my sheets are really great. I'm pretty sure like the Innisfree ones are really great too. Like there's, there's tons, like seriously. There's a whole heap of like options for you if you have sensitive skin or dry skin or like redness or whatever. There's like tons, tons of things. So yeah, and yeah, you just you just have to be careful and research the ingredients, like find out what ingredients like are bad for your specific like um specific skin type and such. Oh my god, this, sorry my skincare routine is really taking a long time. Um, yeah, and usually I finish off with the Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. This is obviously a mini version, it's pink. I know there's another version which is, uh, I think, like a different flavor or something like that. This is really, really great, considering it was like $3 or something. And I found out what it um, smells like. And I think 